so yeah, are we any closer to um, seeing a location decided for this facility? Um, yeah, was any progress made at last month's meeting? Well, really, last night's meeting was just about making sure that the public knows where council stands on this particular project. Obviously, from a council perspective, it's not our project. It's a state government project. We don't control the Drug and Alcohol Rehab Centre. We don't control the courts. We don't control this process. We obviously think it's very important for Dubbo and the entire region. And so really, last night was really just about... Uh, letting the community know that we're still talking to Western New South Wales Health, we're still offering them support and help in any way, shape or form, uh, but the reality is they've got to come up with the land, the parcel of land they need, and actually go through and do the project. Mm. And, yeah, so what sort of locations are you looking at at the moment and what's on the list? Well, we're not really looking at any because it's, again, not our decision as to where that project will go. It's really up to Western New South Wales Health to choose a parcel of land that's appropriate. We obviously hope they'll consult with council and obviously consult with the community. That's very important that both of those things happen. But we we just can't direct them where to go. We can't direct them to say, here's a parcel of land that would be perfect for you. I really think it's up to the health department to make that decision, choose a parcel of land, and really they need to get on with it because it's uh, some time ago now, I wasn't on council at the time, but it was some time ago that the announcement was made that the Drug and Alcohol Rehab Centre would be coming to Dubbo and we we haven't seen a lot of action since then. Our local members said there's been a lot of action going on behind the scenes and I accept that things often happen, a lot of things often happen behind the scenes before something public can go out, but I really would hope that we'd see something public sometime soon. Yeah, and I guess what was sort of the main sentiment from councillors last night, just that we really need to get a wriggle on, or yeah, what was probably the main takeaway from, from the meeting? Yeah, it really was that. We'd really like to see some action happen. We have people in our community. Obviously, people in the community don't really care what level of government is taking care of various components of things happening in the community. So the real sentiment was from the, from our community is, when are we going to see this? How long before it'll happen? And from councillors, the sentiment is much the same, that we think it's a great project. We think it's really important for Dubbo. Uh, please hurry up and, and let's get moving on it. Yeah, gotcha. Main thrust there would be that it's it's a state government project. We obviously have ongoing discussions with our local member, and that would be something that uh, again I'd encourage people in the community to, to do if they want to know more about it. The local member should have more information on it because it is a state government project. Yeah, gotcha. Alrighty, thank you very much for your time. Thanks for calling in from Darwin. Right, yeah, thanks, Isabel.